Mark Fed Knoll. Just heading out around this marker here, which goes around Soldier's Point. And there's home back there. So we're just heading off. Get up the two gardens. Get up the river later on. made it up to tea gardens obviously and um, I just thought I'd take some footage we really um, fought the wind the tide um, the lot really we're towing the dinghy so <laughs> makes such a big difference when you're going with the tide so you'll see in a minute here on the GPS what I've done I'll just show you what speed we're doing and I think it's about 3.8 knots so it took us two hours to get to tea gardens fairly rough out in the bay too but yeah there you go 3.8 knots Good trip, um, had a little bit of trouble finding a safe anchorage for the night, but it ended up looking like that. So anyway, we got away early the next morning. And I thought it was a six o'clock tide, so in this case, we'll go with the tide. So we left Tea Gardens at six and rode the tide all the way up the river. It was a beautiful trip. The good part about this part of the morning is there's not a lot of people on the river. So therefore, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, really. So we rode the tide all the way up to Tamboy. I think we had about two boats pass us towards the top end of the river. But we were pulling uh, 5.2 knots. So it doesn't sound like much, but it makes a big difference when you're traveling around. So what I'll do is when we get to Tamboy, I'll take some footage crossing the Broadwater. And you'll see us going across the ferry so anyway what we'll do is turn this off and you'll see look behind there you can see we're making pretty good time this morning so time hour was about two and a half hours uh, that was going really well that was to the broad water and you'll see we're hitting the next shots i'll be in the broad water and that took us about 35 minutes so that's three hours from tea gardens to the broad water bottom lake there's lakes camp over there we're heading for lakes camp Nice day, done it in to Tambo. I think I said in two and a half hours, I'm just measuring how far to get across here. Anyway, get across here, we're gonna go through the ferry. It's the ferry, I'm gonna wait for him. I'm gonna slow down actually, I better get on to that. There he is. camps on a public mooring. The sun's going down over there, just excuse that. Big cruiser in over here. Bit of a wind going on. And just chilling out. So my wife had to work from the boat the next day. She worked on the Monday. She needed internet signal. That's why we're at Legs Camp. So I thought I'd get the tin 
go for a run up to Vola Hill. I had a mate go past about quarter past seven that morning. He didn't see us. We were tucked in the corner. And he's got a clip of 30. And I thought I'd just go up towards the Violet Hill, Johnson's Beach, Middle Lake area, see if I could find him. He wasn't there. He must have went up a lot further. So anyway, it didn't really matter. It was just a really nice day for a drive. So I just he headed back and had a swim and had a fish. It was just too nice a day to care, to be honest. Actually a terrible night at anchor. It blew so hard and you look at it this morning and you would never know. It was blowing that hard that last night these two boats came in for protection against the wind over against that shelf. But yeah, you look at it now and you'd never know. Had to head off soon. I don't think Tammy got much sleep either, but anyway. As you can see it's absolutely beautiful, still a bit of a breeze. Fisherman's shacks on the river. Uh, these guys set nets across the river and when you have your mild river prawns, this is where they get them from. You can see how dirty the river was. It was pretty dirty in most places actually. It's, the water was pretty dirty even in the bay area. So anyway, let's keep moving along. So anyway, here we are coming through tea gardens. Uh, we were with the tide here. Actually, makes such a big difference. We're doing about 5.8 knots. And then we head to the bay, we fight it again because we head up, to, sorry, down the bay. And we end up fighting it again. But yeah, quite a pretty little place. Here we are, we've been through the bridge here and we're heading out down towards the back of Corrie Island. And that'll bring us out into the entrance of Port Stephens where you wouldn't believe it, the ferry's gonna overtake us again. the Soldiers Point area. You go between Middle Island and Soldiers Point, we take a left hand turn and then we're home. We would like to get some more footage but you just get that wrapped up in your scenery if you get. Been a good trip. So all in all we did uh, about 12 hours of cruising. Um, we didn't use a lot of fuel, I'll get back to you on that one. And we got home on the Tuesday and the Wednesday was okay and it hasn't stopped raining since and you can sort of see with this video footage on the it's currently pouring rain. <laughs> Had a great time, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, got to know the Mile Lake system a bit. Basically when it's high tide at Tea Gardens, it's low tide at Tambour, so you allow for that time frame. And if you leave Tea Gardens at high tide, 
you ride the tide all the way up the river, but unfortunately coming home we were against it and it took three hours. But look, we had a good time. Just have a little short bid to show you what we're doing on Australia Day weekend. Boat was good, very happy. And uh, yeah, see you on the next adventure.